Okay, so the left-hand one was your before. Okay, we asked the question, do you swing your club out to win or into out? And you said, I'm trying to go into out, which is very, very noticeable in your practicing. As you come into the golf ball now, your left arm and hand are going to pull out to the target this way. Club yeah. negative, way behind the golf ball there now. Club coming in from a very, very acute angle yeah. here. And it pre-impact, the next frame is going to be... Oh, name frame back. That's kind of your club face there, yeah. probably aiming over yeah. there somewhere, your body trying to, oh sorry, aiming over there at the right. And then when you hit, hit the golf ball, as you come back to it, okay, you have to then change that. So you start the same sort of movement here now as you start coming back down. That left arm's going to start pulling and now your body's going, oh hang on, we've got to start changing position. And the way we do that is we pivot on that right foot to bring that club back round. The club gets back down in a better position, but therefore make hitting the ground behind the ball. There's a contact with the ground. Now, if the ball was there, striking that club and the ball, that's perfect, okay? Because you've moved back to your right side, so the club yeah. now Bottom is pivoting toe. round yeah. early. So you look at the yeah. strike now as you hit the golf ball, right off the toe, weak, yeah. toppy, toey. The club working up and left as you're making contact. And all yeah. that movement off the back foot, I think, has been caused by the fact you think that lower half's going, oh, hang on, this is going to go way right. Whoop, last second, try and put yeah. it left. And it just yeah. it kind of works on occasions. But it's going to be a weaker shot. Ball's going to start right at the target line and just basically drift off to the right. So this one here, this far, as out to win as possible, OK? Even there now, and that club's coming down there, that club's still a little bit behind coming up. This is a, that's a squarer club face yeah. there. Yeah. But even that club there is not out to win, is it? If you look yeah. at that there, she's having a swing path there. If that was the actual golf ball, your ball would probably just go somewhere over there and just keep going straight, OK? Yeah. So we've got to try and really get that thing of that club. But the good thing is your arms here, compare that to your arms back here at impact. There's a lot more gap between there to there. Yeah. Okay, so the fact it's, it's, it's not so much exaggerated underneath and swinging out to the yeah. right. That's, that's the plus sign, okay? And then when you get the golf ball, okay, because you're not trying to swing it so much differently, okay, now club can come back down nice on the sort of target line, back in the golf ball much Cleaner yeah. contact, as you can yeah. see. Compare that to impact. Compared to that would be the same contact had yeah. you not moved back because yeah. the club works around to the left. There's your contact. Yeah. One's at yeah. the meat of the bat. One's right off the toe. He's yeah. going 135 yards in here. He's going 85 yards in here. Yeah. Okay. And all that I think stems from the, the the wanton desire to swing it into out. Now until you start hitting a golf ball. This way, if this is your target there, yeah. hitting a ball over here, so on the first hole going lost out of bounds consistently, mm. okay, there's no point going into out. We want your path to be kind of going a little bit left of target to allow for your natural shape to come back to target. Mm. Hit the shape of shot you know you're comfortable yeah. with. Yeah. Don't try and say yeah. if your practice swing is so acutely from in here with a face aiming over there that's practicing a different shot to what you're trying to play yeah. and at the last second almost at that moment of truth your brain goes yeah, yeah. no quickly and yeah. this way yeah. same way if, it, if you use the line on the golf ball when you're putting to line up yeah if you're over the ball and you don't trust it as that club goes back you go yeah i'm trusting i'm trusting it the second you get towards impact the moment of truth you'll go no yeah. you, your brain won't let you deliberately feel like it's missing the putt yeah so you'll do something different okay so by getting that movement now with a better backswing and a better practice swing you're not falling on the back foot so much you're not swinging out of it very good swing starts on the left hand side into the ball now setting down the range there and that one landed i think about 135 was the best one you hit yeah. there compared to these ones before we were barely clearing 100 yes they ran yeah. 50 yards but we know this yeah. time of year now you're not getting anywhere near that okay so so work on that practice trying at the sensation you're swinging as far left as you can don't be going too far from the inside and having the face wide open the more you encourage that in your practice swing, the more you're actually going to cause yourself to try and do... I mean, that club there's going to... If you saw that there, yeah. hitting the ball from there, that's just going to be <laughs> yeah. way off to the right. That, that's for some of the really, really close club face, which you don't really have. Your club face is no. square to open, if anything. Mm. So unless you yeah. really start whipping that club face over and using your wrists and arms a lot more, there's no point in starting it right at target. Yeah. Okay? Does that kind of make sense then, yeah? Yeah. Can you see yeah. kind of how you... I think what's happened, the reason why you're topping it this time of year is because the ground is soft. In the yeah. winter, in the summertime, it might be more of I'm in the ground a bit heavy, to be fair. Because yeah. you're not fearful of it in the ground, and the club we know can bounce to the ground. Yeah. So you kind of get away with it that way. So, yeah. yeah. Get that sensation of making your practice swing, just sort of swing it around there, get your body and everything else working around to the left rather than trying to swing it on a direction yeah. that doesn't really help yeah. your swing get any better.
So if you're swinging on the mat there now, if I was to put the ball here, for example, yeah. I wouldn't expect your club to be going over this part of the corner of the mat. So if you hold the club there at set up, so that, behind yeah. the ball, yeah, behind the ball, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that corner bit of the mat there, as you do your practice swing, we shouldn't expect the club to be coming in from here. We want that club to be coming back in, yeah. out in front, hitting that kind of whipping sensation, as we said, with that impact bag as you make contact, yeah? That makes sense, Anania? Yeah. Good, yeah. excellent, good stuff. Have a couple more notes to finish off with.